In business tonight, the Barbados Institute of Management and Productivity is actively involved in the development of practitioners in the cultural and creative industries. And this is according to Executive Director of BIMAP, Dr. Sonia Greenwich Franklin. She says the winners of several Calypso competitions are currently enrolled at the Institute. We've partnered with the NCF, also with NIFCA, and we have some of the winners of some of their, their top prizes. They are also currently pursuing their studies. So we don't only say we want to be part or want to be leading in the cultural industries. We are actually taking an active role. And Dr. Greenwich Franklin was speaking during BIMAP's recent annual general meeting. She says that there is increasing interest in animation courses and a number of people have completed their national and Caribbean vocational qualifications in that field. They've been certified through the competency-based training fund and we continue to have programs in animation. We recognize that students need to start from very early and people are very interested in animation from very early. So we have a summer camp with animation. Last year we started it and this year it grew exponentially and next year we believe we may have to run two camps because of the interest in persons in animation. Meantime, Chairman of BIMAP, John Rochford, says the Institute recorded a loss of more than $230,000 over the last financial year. He says the Institute managed to slash expenses by more than $260,000, but this was compounded by a major dip in revenue of almost $490,000. That decrease in both revenue and expenditure was as a result of the completion of the competency-based training fund the CBTF project, contraction of consulting activities and the lower demand for training by employers. The Institute was also able to control its expenditure by reducing costs for staff and building and equipment maintenance. However, there was an 8% increase in office administration expenses. The overall effect of these adjustments was a significant increase in the deficit for 2017. And time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, was Cinco Group Limited Ordinary Shares was the volume leader with 1,958,391 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited was the volume leader with 24,903 shares changing hands, all for a value of $724,926.33. And here in Barbados, JMMB Group Limited was the sole security trading 8,000 shares at 41 cents each. And in international business, the, the Securities and Exchange Commission has accused Tesla CEO Elon Musk of securities fraud in a civil lawsuit charging him with lying or recklessly misleading when he tweeted that he had funding secured to take the electric car company private. In doing so, the Wall Street Regulatory Agency set in motion a legal showdown with tremendous stakes that could culminate in his removal from Tesla's leadership and cause serious financial damage to that company.